Hello and welcome to the tutorial on making websites. Okay, the first thing that we need to have is we need to have a bit of structure for our website. So you can see here I've created a folder called web and inside that folder I have an images folder. Okay, so all of our HTML documents are going to be in here while all of our images are going to be in the images folder. This is the first thing that you need to do, so create that now. Next thing is to open up Dreamweaver. This is my version of Dreamweaver and I'm going to create a new HTML document. Now, <clears throat> this is the screen that you will see. Okay, and you can see if I start typing, text comes up. Okay, now there are many ways to actually design a website but I'll show you a few ways today and then you can pick and choose which one you'd like to do the easiest way um, and it's starting to become less and less common is by using tables okay and you'll see to insert a table all you need to do is you need to click on this little icon So now I have my table. Now you might be thinking, why would I need a table? Well, on a website, if I wanted stuff to appear, if I wanted actual text to appear right over here I'll need to set it in a table so that it stays locked in that area otherwise if I it won't really stay because there is no formatting I can't keep pressing space to, to move it along so you need to have a table now you know, if you don't need extra fields, okay, you can right click, you can merge cells, whatever you need. Alright, I'll just merge that. Okay, so my first thing is going to be a little header, my first website. Now, to change the font and stuff like that, you can actually go and use all the tools that we have. Um, in our little properties panel okay so I can change it to bold um, yeah so if I want to change the size you know I can go down here um, whatever just like in Microsoft Word I can change the color um, I can do all sorts of, of stuff like that Okay, now the only thing, the only problem with this is once you have created more than one page, if you need to go back and change the color on each of your pages, you'll need to do that individually. You know, if you want to do it like that, sure you can, but it will just waste you a lot of time. And so, what actually has been created to, you know, alleviate this problem is this thing called CSS, and I'll show you that in a minute. But, anyways, main sections of a website okay we have maybe a title and then we also have navigation now navigation is how the user clicks to other pages okay so I'm just gonna put in some navigation links now media links contact Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five links. So I don't need this table or this cell. So I can actually merge it with the next cell. Okay, so now I can move my tables around to however much you know space I need. But anyways, that is going to be my navigation. Okay, so I'm going to need another table for my main layout. So I'm just going to insert another table, make it the same length. Alright, I'll 
merge these cells together. Okay. And this will be my footer at the bottom of the table. So Okay, one thing you have to remember with Dreamweaver and most other HTML uh, editors is that there is no spell check. Okay, so if I write a wrong word, there's not going to be any squiggly lines underneath it. So you need to make sure that you're writing or that it is the correct spelling. Okay, now, anyways, so this is our first area. If I want to go and change the background color, and things like that I can do that here in page properties so if you open up page properties background color will change it to black okay and now I can't see my text so we'll change the text color to white and then all my text is now changed okay so the next thing that I want to do is now create links okay hyperlinks Links take the user to different parts of your website and a website without links is no good. So to do this, all right, we need to highlight the link that you want to create and then you need to come down here and actually make the link. Now I haven't created any of these pages yet. I'm going to create one main page and then save them as all of my links. And so you'll see what, what I mean in a second. Now the home page is always going to be called called the index page. So I'll just make my link index.html. I'm going to make the biography page a bio.html page. Media page is media.html. Links, make it links.html. And finally contact, contact.html. Okay, now if you remember, I have index, bio, media, links, and contact.html pages. These five pages are what you'll need to see here. Okay, and so we're going to save them pretty soon. But that is how we create a link. Okay. Now, I have an email link down here. Okay, now the email links are a little bit different. If I want to make an email link then I go back to my link little area here and the first couple of or the, the first thing I need to put is this mail to colon and then the actual and then the actual email address so it will be mail to stuzipan at live.com okay and so all my links are now in blue. If I want to change that, I can go to links, link color, we'll make them say yellow. There we go. Visited links, so once the user clicks the link, we'll make it a different shade of yellow. Okay. Anyways, now I'm going to insert a picture. Okay, so the easiest way to insert a picture is to go to insert. image I'm going to go to my images folder all right now if you want alternate text to pop up you can write stuff in there if you don't want anything just click OK and there's my picture okay now if I want to do things on the picture like you know add a border I'll just change that to one okay and you can kind of see that now to preview this site I'm going to press F12 now what this does is it previews my site in the browser. So yes, you want to save changes to index.html, make sure you save it as index.html. And there in Internet Explorer, I see that all my links are here. My email link is there and my picture is there. Okay, so good, all right? We're we're getting pretty pretty into our website. Okay? So Main content, you know, you can talk about whatever you like. All right. The only thing is with these borders, 